Here's how to create animated titles quickly and easily. In this video, I'm gonna run through exactly how to make professional animated titles step by step. Plus I'll also share the three animated titles or motion graphics that every creator should have ready to go to help speed up your video creation. Now these days there's lots of different tools and apps and things that you can use to create motion graphics and animated titles. And the process is so much easier than last time we made a video on the same topic. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through a few different methods to help you create your animated titles. And I would strongly suggest that you stick around to see all the methods out through to completion so that you can pick the best method for you. And yes, some of these processes are super simple. So even if you're an absolute beginner, I got you covered in here right through to some that are a little more advanced as well. So I'm going to start off with probably the easiest method, which is just using the built-in preset animated titles in your video editing software. Now, obviously this is going to change no matter which software you're using. Some of them will come with a ton of built-in titles and animations and presets and things. Others, you won't have too many, but I want to cover this one quickly first because this might do everything you need. So the example I've got here is just on iMovie, free software on Mac. If we come up the top here to go and add a title, you can see that we've got quite a few animated titles here that we can literally just drag and drop onto our project and we can customize them up. So I've got everything from full screen titles to even some lower thirds or some name tag titles that you'd have just down the bottom of your video. So let's just grab this title, let's drag it down onto our editing timeline here. We can double click on it to bring up the text edit box and we can type in whatever we'd like. And now when we play this through, we'll see that we have some motion graphics or some animation that's happening. And again, you'll probably find there's lots of different ones to choose from. Now some video editing applications like Filmora will let you take this one step further and they'll have their own dedicated shop or area where you can purchase and download a lot more effects and titles and transitions and things. Even apps like Kinemaster have this as well. So option number one here is just to check what you've already got built in to your editing application. Option number two builds upon that. And again, it's a very simple method that's gonna work with most video editing software or apps. And that is to add titles or text to your video and then animate them within the application itself or add effects to make them look good. So I'm over in Final Cut now because there's a few more effects and examples in here that I can show you. We're just gonna go ahead and add in a basic title. And again, you can follow this process in pretty much any video editing tool. Again, we've got a lot of the presets and things that we talked about in the first option. But we're just gonna go ahead and grab a basic title here and click and drag that down to our timeline. Again, I'm just gonna double click on it so that we can edit the text. Let's type in Justin Brown. We can pick it up and we can move it down the bottom here. We can customize this up so we can change the font to be Oswald, which is our primal video font. We can make it bigger. We can customize this up to match our brand. So as it is right now, we've just got a title that just appears on screen and then disappears. So there's no animation, no movement or anything happening. So this is where we can come over here now and add in a video transition to this so that it will appear on screen a little bit better than just flashing on screen. So let's grab this wipe transition. Let's pick it up. Let's drag it onto our clip here. And if we come back here now and preview this, we can see now our title is going to wipe on screen. So you can see already we can start to customize things up for the way that we want them to look. Now if I actually play that, you'll see it's pretty quick. We can adjust the speed of this by extending or shortening that transition. And if we select the transition, we can even make adjustments to the edge of the transition. So if I come back here, you can see that it's kind of a blurred edge coming on screen. We can actually adjust that up here so that it's a hard edge if we'd like. So now it's a much cleaner wipe bringing this text on screen. Now in here, obviously there's a lot of different transitions and things that you can use to bring your text on screen and to create some really cool animations. But we can even take this easily one step further by adding a shape or a graphic in behind this. And again, while you might be clicking somewhere different in your own software, the process here is gonna be exactly the same. So I'm gonna come up here to generators and I'm gonna grab a solid custom background image essentially. And I'm gonna put it down beneath our text here. Now I'm gonna select on it, I'm gonna come up to the top here and I'm gonna change the size of it. So we can either scale it down or crop it down, move it to where we want it to go. We can change the color of it over here, maybe something close to our primal video blue. Now, if we just preview it as it is right now, we can see that the background appears and then the text is going to appear over the top of it. But we can also add that same animation here onto our background as well so that the two of them line up. So we can either come over here, grab that same transition and apply it here again, or we can normally just select that effect or that transition. We can copy it, 
going up to edit copy and then we can paste it on that clip using the keyboard shortcuts or we can choose edit paste and now when we play this back we can see that we've now got a decent looking title very very simply just using our editing tools there's lots of other transitions and things that you could have. You could have your text blur onto the screen. You could have it fade in. You could even do something simple like just adjusting the start times on these two clips so that maybe the background comes in first and the text comes in just a little bit later. So it's really not too hard to start to build out these sorts of things yourself. And once you've got them made, you can just copy and paste them between all of your different editing projects. So you're not having to start again from scratch each time. Now, if you're somebody who's looking to take things to the next level or you're not interested in building building out your titles yourself, then this is where a service like Placeit is really, really powerful. So this isn't a free option, but it is incredibly cheap. So we can just come up the top here and we can search for titles. And you can see we've got title intro, video title. I'm just gonna go title. And there's lots of different presets and templates in here that we can customize up and use in our videos and edit the text and everything live here on the Placeit website. So we can pick something simple like this one here, minimalistic intro. And it's gonna give us a live preview here. And so these titles here are designed to be full screen titles, but there is a little workaround on here to be able to use these as overlay titles on your video as well. So if you don't want the background here, or you wanna be able to move the title around in your editing application, I'm gonna show you that too. But all we need to do is to come over here and just start typing in our text. So we can go Justin in this one, maybe we'll go Brown in this one, and let's just see what the preview looks like. So you can see fully animated custom title just made in a few seconds. Now I'm not a big fan of the brown color. So we could come over here and we could change that to maybe again, something similar to our primal video blue. We can turn on or off the music that comes with it. So we might want to turn that off. We can adjust the playback speed. So if we want this to happen faster or slower, we've got all of that in here. We can also adjust the fonts. So again, we could make this something similar to our primal video font. And we can even pick the different background images. Again, if we want to use this as a full screen title. Now it's very faint there, but you can see that that there is currently a place it watermark on here. That's because we are currently not even logged into an account. So you can jump on here, you can have a play around, you can build these things out and see what works for you without even needing to create an account. Now in terms of pricing, if we do come up the top here to go to download this, it's gonna give us two options. We can buy this title as a single video purchase in full HD with no watermark and commercial usage and everything is all good. We can buy it once for $9.99 US or we can jump on the place at subscription for $14.95 per month or $89.69 per year, which is going to give us unlimited access to everything that place it offers, which isn't just limited to the video templates and things that I've shown you. There's heaps of stuff in here for creating mock-ups for designs and merchandise, helping you build things like Instagram posts or PDF downloads and even logo design as well. So I already have an account. I'm going to go ahead and log in and download this and we can see what it looks like in our editing application. So now that's down Loaded, we can drop it in to our editing timeline and this is what it looks like. So I just love how fast and easy it is to create awesome looking titles like this in Placeit. Now, this is obviously a full screen title. If we just want the text piece, we can do that in Placeit as well for most of their templates. We wanna come back over to Placeit. We want to remove our background image. We wanna change our background color here where it says image color. We wanna change that to a bright green or a bright blue, a solid color that you haven't used in the rest of your video here. Once you've applied that, download the file again and take it back into your video editing application. So now when we bring this title in, you can see it's just got a plain green background. We can easily remove that green just applying a green screen effect or a chroma key effect. So you wanna find that effect in your editing application. So for me on Final Cut, it's over here under effects, down under keying, and then we've got Kia. So I can just drag this onto there and you can see it's automatically removed the green for me. Now that process might be a little bit different in your application, but it'll be really simple to apply that green screen effect. And then from here, we can just move this to wherever we want to have it play. We can even adjust the position of it. Say if we want to move it down the bottom here. And now when we hit play, we can see this play out in its entirety. So again, I love this that we can just create this once. We can use it in multiple videos. So you don't have to create it every single time. So Place It is an amazing tool for creating motion graphics and titles and things like this. And if we go back over to Place It, they do have some lower third titles or some name banners here that are already on the green background for you 
so that you can just click in, customize, change colors, change the fonts, and you're gonna be good to go. Now, the last method I've got for you is a little bit more complicated, but it does have more customization, and I also think they've probably got the best looking motion graphic titles and animations and things, and that is using services like Video Hive and Motion Array. Those are my top two picks and purchasing and downloading a title animation pack. Now in here, we can see at the top, we've got a menu here for After Effects, Adobe Premiere, Apple Motion, which is Final Cut as well, and DaVinci Resolve. There's also an extra option here just for generic motion graphics, and these will work in any video editing app or software, but they're not customizable like these other ones here are. Now, if you're not using one of these applications and you are looking for custom graphics like this, first thing to do would be to Google your video editing software name and motion graphics, and just see if there is any preset templates and things that you can buy and customize up like you'll find here on Video Hive. Now the other option is you could grab one of these After Effects title templates and then find someone on places like Fiverr or Upwork to customize it up for you. Now we do have an older video on our channel which I will link in the description box below taking you through the process of manually customizing up one of those templates. So if that's something that you're interested in and again you're not using one of these applications then definitely check out that video. But for now I'm going to go up to Adobe Premiere Pro down to titles and we can start to see the type of titles and animations and graphics and stuff in here. So you can see this one title pack here for $29. It says it's got 900 plus titles and graphics in here. Next one across here, lower thirds. We've got a lot of different options in this one as well. Same with this next one here, hand-drawn brush titles. Again, all of these are fully customizable. You can change all this stuff up and there's literally drag and drop once you've got it installed in your editing application. If we scroll down, you can see there is just pages and pages of options here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one here. I'm gonna purchase it and I'm gonna install it into Adobe Premiere. Now for this template in the download file, this is what we've got. There's some help files here telling you how to install this plugin, how to actually use it. There's even a step-by-step -step video tutorial that comes with it as well. And we've got the files to install. So for this specific one in Premiere, all we need to do is come up to graphics and titles, install motion graphics templates, we go and find our graphic packs here. We can select our glitch title, I'm just gonna pick glitch one here at the moment. Now that's opened up our essential graphics area here or motion graphics area in Adobe Premiere. Let's just search for that, it was called glitch and we can see we've got our title here. Now all I need to do is click and drag on that title, drop it down into our timeline. And if we just play through this now, we can see that we've got that animated title in there. Now we can edit this up, again, fully customizable. We can change the text on the top here to primal video and the bottom one here to Justin Brown. We can change all the fonts and the sizing and everything on here, maybe we'll scale it down and maybe we'll drop it down a little bit lower as well. Maybe we'll center it on my shirt here. So let's just hit play on this. Again, minimal customization and it already looks pretty good. Now obviously this is just a normal video clip on here so we can cut it, we can shorten it, we can extend it, we can really do anything we'd like with this. But we've just saved ourselves so much time in going to manually create all of this ourselves. So that's how easy it is to add great looking animated titles and graphics to your videos. Now earlier in the video I said I'd also share with you three motion graphics or three animated titles that every video creator should have to help you speed up your creation process. These are titles that you're likely going to be using in every one of your videos. So having these pre-made and ready to go means that you can just copy and paste or just drag and drop them in, saving you a ton of time trying to create these things for every single project. So the three titles I'd recommend you create, the first one is your name card or your lower third. This is something that you'll likely use towards the start of every one of your videos when you come on screen. The second one is a title screen or a title template that you can use to have the title of your video, the topic of your video showing up inside the video itself. And that's something that you can easily just change the text on for each one of your videos. And the third one will be your calls to action. So asking people to give your video a thumbs up or asking them to subscribe or to visit your website, whatever your standard calls to action are, then create titles and animations for those two. Now, while this is something that sounds so simple, it's really gonna be something that's gonna save you a ton of time not having to worry about these things once you've spent the time creating them once. So now that you've got some awesome professional titles ready to go, make sure you check out the video linked on screen all around the best royalty-free stock music sites to help you find amazing background music for your videos too. I'll see you in there.